All right, guys, we're off and running. We're in a totally different direction today. Uh, figured I'd try to do something different. Don't really know where I'm going, but we'll figure it out as we go. So we're out on the electric XP today. The uh, rip current, I wanted to take that, but I, the last time we went out with that bike, the second battery wasn't working on that, if you remember right. So I investigated into it and figured out why it wasn't working. And the reason why it's not working is I bought that battery for a bike that had a 750 watt motor in it. It peaked at like 13. So I bought a battery that was good for 1500 watts. And uh, every time I get out of that rip current, that thing draws 2200 watts. It's tripping out the, the uh, BMS on that battery. So that's why the battery keeps shutting down on it. It'll come back on. Then a minute I try to hit the throttle or take off in it, it gets that surge and the thing shuts down. So I've ordered another battery. I got a 50 amp battery coming instead of the, uh, I don't know what this one was, 20, 30 amps, whatever. And it's also a 30 amp hour battery. So we're going to uh, get a little bit more mileage on that. I figured if I got to buy it, one was like 435 for the 20 amp hour, and it's like 485 for the 30 amp hour. So why not go with the 30 amp hour? So today is Tuesday, and I figured I'd get out here and do some sort of a ride, get it in, so that it would be up for this Saturday. So we got the Moon Cool trike together over the weekend. Battery came in. I've gone out on it. It's, uh, I, I haven't done a review on it. I gotta do that, but I need more time to do it. I haven't had time. I got the battery yesterday. I took it down my big hill and brought it back up and it came back up. I was pedaling a little bit, but I gotta tell you that battery was the way it came in the box and I don't think it was half full. So I'm impressed. I didn't think that 350 watt motor would get me up that hill, but it does. I'm almost thinking I can do it on throttle once the battery's charged, and we'll try that. So I've ordered the, uh, I put the, uh, temporarily put that Cloud 9 seat on it, but I want to put a Moon Cool seat on it because Moon Cool gave me this bike and I'd like to keep it all Moon Cool. So I ordered the Moon Cool seat with the backrest on it. And that's coming tomorrow, so I'll get that on the bike. I want to have that off for the review and stuff, so I'll probably do the review this weekend and get a ride in, and as much as I can, depending on the weather. The weather changes here in a heartbeat, so right now it's looking okay. Not particularly warm, but it's okay. Um, so I can get it done, but if it rains, it's not going to happen. Got another bike coming in, another trike. I'm pretty sure that one's coming in. I don't like to say anything about it until I actually get it. The shipping information. And I haven't got that yet, but I'm close. I already got the invoice on it that it's going to shipping. So she told me she would send me the shipping as soon as it came in. So I got that one coming in that I know of. And I got another one coming in. I don't really want to talk about that one yet either, but I know that one's coming in. But that one has a delay in it as far as it's not even available yet. Yeah, actually the trike that I'm supposed to be getting in that they're shipping, uh, that one's not available yet either. So I'm getting two bikes that aren't even on the market yet. But I do not know when I'm getting the second, third one, whatever you want to call it. So I have reached out to that company and asked them if they had any idea when I would be getting that bike when they would be shipping it. I did that today. Of course, it's China, so it's going to be overnight. If they getting in touch with these companies is pretty hard. I mean, sometimes they email you back. They're busy. I get it. They see a message from you and, you know, they'll get to it when they get to it. I don't know whether or not they will answer me because they might not even know. And if they don't know the answer, they tend not to tell you anything. And I may have another bike coming. And this one's not a trike. A bike. So I got all these trikes now coming and my roads as you know aren't the greatest so I am going to try to get out there on them. If I get a faster trike 
I don't know about these 350. I, you know, as soon as I get out there and ride them, I'll be able to tell more. But I don't know if I want to try to get on these roads with that 350 motor. If I can't get out of the way of somebody, I, I don't know how comfortable I feel with that. So I need to transport them to safer places. Let's put it that way. So I'm looking at a rack for my car, my trailer hitch, which I've ordered it. Um, I'm going to have to do some welding on it and stuff, but I don't want to go crazy with it till I get a couple of these trikes so that it will be good for more than one trike. I also went out and bought a used trailer so I can trailer more than one at once. Going to be able to, um, the bike that's supposed to be coming in is very similar to the bike that I already have from Mooncool and it's by a different manufacturer. Speaking of trikes, there's one there. Yeah, but that one's a Holly Davis. So I also bought a, uh, a different camera. So we're running with two DJI Action 4s today. I used to run with a 3 and a 4, but the 3 makes too many files, and I'm trying to make my life easier. So. If I went out for an hour and a half, I'd have 12 files on the three, and I would have six files or five files on the four. So that's a big difference when you're editing videos. Every time there's a file, those picture in the picture one here, I've got to resize my head, move it to the side. So I want to do that as few times as I can, cut down my editing a little bit. This one here I want to set up so that the front screen stays on. Right now it's probably on the back screen. So I can't see whether or not it's aimed at me. And I'd hate that, so. You know, I've got my helmet. I keep forgetting I have directionals on my helmet. All right, so like I said, we're on the X-Peak today. Nothing's changed on this bike. I did change the brakes out on the Juiced. But I haven't took the bike out yet, so I don't even know if they're improved or whatever. Like I said, if they squeak, I'll eat crow. I didn't change the rotors on them. If they squeak, I'll probably change the rotors just to make sure it's not the, uh, the metal in the rotors. Shouldn't be, but you never know. I mean, they look pretty much the same, so why change them? So Electric put out another bike today. Express, yes, the Electric Express. So that's a commuter bike and it's got 27 and a half inch tires on it, but they're skinnier tires. I think they're two and an eighth, two and a quarter, something like that. So that's interesting that they're going into that market. And that one has a torque sensor on that bike and they're giving away a free battery. It's 1200 bucks. They also have one, that's with the 750 motor on it. They also have one I believe it's $899, um, could be $799, but I think it's $899, I'm not 100% sure. Whatever it is, they sent me a coupon for 100 off that, but uh, I'm not buying it. I've, I feel it's the same bike as this, it looks similar. The rear frame uh, where it goes down to the wheel is a little bit different geometry to it. They are not selling it with fenders or a rack, there'll be no baskets available for it, of course. And Levi did say that he made a mistake putting baskets with the X Peak because he didn't realize that you shouldn't put baskets on a bike with 26 inch wheels. He was so used to the 20 inch wheels that he figured he'd include them. And that's what caused the wobble. And I gotta tell you guys, I think, you know, a lot of the wobbles there, like I said, a lot of these uh, step throughs have the wobble anyways, you just might not know it. Um, I've noticed it on several of my step-throughs. And that's why I bought this in a step-over. That's why I bought the other one in a step-over. I want that, that more rigid frame. After I knew it was there, it's a problem with step-throughs. I didn't want it anymore. But, you know, a little bit of a challenge for me to get over this thing. So I would like a step-through if they could make one that was solid. So we bought the uh, trailer. I didn't pay a lot for it. Going to do a little bit of work to that one. Uh, pretty it up a little bit and make it function for what I want it for. But I want to be able to throw two trikes on that thing and uh, head off to a rail trailer 
someplace or whatever and go for bike rides with my wife. So those two bikes, like I said, are pretty, pretty matched up, but it'll be interesting to see what the difference is with them. They look very similar. The company that it's coming from does have quite a few bikes, but they're, uh, again, a, a more budget-minded bike. You know, they don't have all the thrills on them and stuff, but we'll see. I think it's uh, going to be fine. You can only pay 850 bucks for a bike. You're going to sacrifice something, so you got to know that. Now, if I want to go bang myself up a little bit, if I had a real mountain bike mountain bike, I could have taken that trail there and that would have ended up going back to the rail trail but it's not a uh, it's not a nice trail let's put it that way i would definitely like to do that at um you know trail biking that type mountain bike type thing to my itinerary but i'm also not willing to go out and pay 2500 bucks for one of those bikes and i'm not going to use that that often and that 2500 dollars is, is cheap one you know i mean that's the event is around that price and, I actually have my eye on another one that I like. But like I said, I'm not, I'm not going out and buying a bike that I'm not gonna use that often. These bikes, I don't mind paying a little extra for them. I'm gonna get out there and run them, you know? Hey, we finally turned 103 miles on this bike. So we're over 100. Could have taken the Magicycle today, but I'm down to one battery on that. So we're limited to about 25 miles. Not that I think I'm gonna ride much more than that, but I also don't wanna be going out with an iffy, battery whether or not i'm going to make it back so so yeah the the rip current next time we go out on that hopefully we'll have the new battery i think i'm getting it this week i'm not 100 percent, but i think i am the brakes on that one hopefully the squeak's gone like i said i put my favorite quad zoom on there and those are budget brakes too but i like them they've worked for me in the past they stop well and i haven't had a problem with squeaking so Knock on wood, which I don't have any wood with me, but uh, I'm hoping the same happens. I actually may, if I get home in time, I may take that moon cool out for a little bit of a jaunt. It's definitely a different ride. So one of the things, let me tell you about these uh, things. The first thing I noticed when I took off, I, I, I mean, I've never ridden a trike like that. When, you, when you're strictly pedaling, even the other day when I was out pedaling and I didn't notice it. But when you start cruising and you kind of don't think about it because you're cruising along, motor's pulling you along and you're having a good time, all of a sudden you start realizing it feels like it's pulling. But it's not pulling, it's actually, it's the crown in the road. So you're a little bit tilted and your body has like a natural gyroscope in the thing that wants to be upright. And your body's saying, hey, we're not upright, you know? So it's, it's a weird feeling. In, and you're going to get used to it. Like anything else, you go out for, you know, half an hour, and all of a sudden you go, oh, I don't even notice that anymore. So what are we at for mileage already? Almost nine miles. So it's nice that it's warming up. Again, I got my fall and spring gloves. I just got my jacket on today. It's enjoyable right now. And the temperature is 57 degrees. I know, uh, you know, a lot of you guys are getting the green grass and you're cutting the lawn and stuff. Yeah, we're not there yet. We're starting to get flowers. The trees are starting to bud. No leaves, but uh, I see the buds starting to come out on them. Watch my buddy Bruce there. He's down in Maryland. Yeah, they cut the lawn already. He's opened up his pool this week. Not that I think he's going to go swimming, but hey, the fact that he opened up the pool means spring's coming. You know, this thing, when it hits the 28 mark, just under it, you feel the motor cut out, but this motor go over that, that's for sure. So the hand veer, I guess a couple of those have uh, gone out. I made a little money on them, that's nice. So this is a little bit different ride today. Not exciting. I plan on doing better rides where you go by lakes and stuff like that. On the weekends, probably. It's hard to, um, to get out there when I'm working. We're at almost 11 miles and we haven't dropped a battery by yet. So these tires definitely like to sing a little bit, these Kendas, but uh, I think they're Kenda Crusades or something like that. But like I said, I like the Kendas. It's a good solid tire. Those CSTs though, I have to look into that because those were a lot quieter. Similar tread pattern. 
I know a lot of people like them. We'll duck down this road here. We've gone through this town before. It's a Civil War monument, and we were just about to go by, but we turned off. I lived in this town, and somebody had stolen the gun off that, and they were trying to replace it. And they had to contact a whole lot of people to try to replace that thing, but they finally did. He's got his gun again. Hopefully they welded it to it this time, or whatever. I do have one, the bike coming in, that I keep saying that I know it's coming in. It is coming in. Uh, I signed a contract with them and everything, so they want me to do an interesting, you know, I put together video on that one. Moon Cool didn't ask me for a thing. They were just super supportive. Uh, obviously, they support startup uh, YouTubers because a lot of the people that uh, they have are startup people, you know, so hey, thank you very much Moon Cool for believing in us and uh, I think we all try to do you proud and it helps that it's a quality bike. Like I said, I mean, super quality, no, not the one that they sent me, that's, uh, that's a, a budget trike, you know, but you're getting a lot of trike for the money you're spending on it. You've got to put what you're paying for a bike in perspective with what you're getting, so. And from what I've seen so far on it, I like it, I'm impressed. I have another manufacturer that uh, is very interested in seeing me ride trikes on the roads that I'm on. So I'm probably, you know, going to um, do a little legwork for them too. As, Cause they want some feedback on, uh, is this something that they should look into and, and what could be corrected on the bikes to make them more road friendly so i am definitely going to try to help them out there i foresee them in my future um, i'm a small channel they are a big company i communicate with them often and i think i have a pretty good relationship with them we'll find out but i'm definitely going to um, try to help them out with that because, you know, not everybody lives in these flat towns and can ride these trikes. And if we can figure out how to tweak these things a little bit, I think, you know, they, these are fun to ride. Uh, they're as fun to ride as these bikes. It's a different ride, but they're fun. This road is bumpy as heck because it's an old cement road. Yeah, there I go. You can see the cracks in the road. Those cracks are actually cement slabs underneath this thing. So this is the old state highway, believe it or not. And they look like the thing was 20 feet wide, but the cars were a lot smaller then. So I'm hoping this camera's pointing at the right direction. I'm gonna have to fix that. So the next time I can see what I'm doing. So the trike I ordered, one of the mirrors that I ordered for the Hanavia. I just, you know, figured one's good enough on that thing. I don't really plan on doing a ton of road riding like I'm doing now. And you really, you know, the, the left hand mirror is the important one. Um, but I like it on the right too because I do cross the roads, I do different things. I like to be able to look in both mirrors. So for this or for my road bikes, yeah, I want two mirrors. On that, nah, not so much. One of the bikes I have coming in, and hopefully another one, will have a 750 motor on it, both trikes. Um, and I'm hoping that that will be able to get up to some speed. I know they governed at 15, but I'm gonna play around and see if I can get a little more speed out of them. Now, if I can get that bike into the low 20s, it might be a contender to get out on the road. Again, you know, it needs to be lit up more, though. These things are coming with reflectors on the back or a little tiny light in the middle. That ain't going to cut it. I know uh, the one that I definitely have coming with the 750 motor in it has a teeny little light in the middle. It works. It's got a brake light and everything. It's so small, it's just not going to help on the roads like this. I, I would definitely... If, I, if, if that thing ends up on the road and I feel like I can run that thing on a road like this, I'm going to have lights on both fenders on that thing, working directionals the whole nine yards. So 
And that is one of the recommendations I'll probably make making if if this is something that's doable. I, I honestly don't know if it is something that can be done safely. But on the other hand, it's a much bigger presence on the road, so cars could be more careful of you because you are a bigger presence. I don't know, we'll find out. So I know I've been driving down here, you don't know where the heck I am or anything. You're gonna figure out where I am eventually because getting close to the normal route, so which I will be taking on the way back. So we will be going around the lake. We just took a bigger loop. Like I said, I have to stay on this side of the river unless I cross it, but I gotta go through the city. I'm not too keen about going through the city. And you eat up a lot of time. You gotta stop at all the stop signs and everything else. All right, now we're back out where you know where we are. So I don't know when we dropped two battery bars, but we did. So I probably had the battery on last week because I think we got about 25 miles out of that thing. And I'm pushing it, you know, I'm running a pedal assist three. We're running at 24, 26 miles an hour for the most part. We're dealing with hills. So it's going to eat battery, but I like to ride this way, you know, I, I, I do have had people in the past go, well, you, you know, if you slow down, I don't want to slow down. If you want to drive at one mile an hour, that's, that's you. Knock yourself out, I don't mind. I'm going around you. So the trailer I bought, I ordered lights for it. The lights work on it, but the lights are uh, got light bulbs in them and stuff. And I want LEDs. I drive a car that's not gonna like the fact that I have a trailer on it anyways going to tell me there's a problem with the lights and the thing's going to be on the entire time the trail is plugged in, but I don't care. I can live with that. But maybe with the LEDs, it won't draw that much and it might not know they're this. Yeah, you drive these smart cars or whatever you want to call them and they know everything that's going on. They don't like it. I didn't even know my car had two batteries. I had a problem with... Uh, so when I come up to a stoplight or whatever, the car shuts off. I can override it, but it's you have to do it every time. So I don't, I don't even care. I just If it wants to do it, fine. So it started screwing up. I went on YouTube, explained what it is. YouTube is a great tool, guys. Explain what, was, what it was doing. Hey, it says you got to change your battery. I'm like, my battery? They're showing a picture of underneath the dashboard. I'm like, huh? Yeah, there's a whole, it's like a motorcycle battery in there underneath the dashboard. Nice getting out here after work, taking a ride though. I like to do this all summer long. I won't bore you guys, but uh, I still only do the once a week thing for the most part, unless we do something special. I'll pop an earbud in, listen to some music. Earbud, not two. Listen to some music and pedal around and enjoy myself. I enjoy doing this too, but once in a while it's kind of nice to just be in your own little world. The bugs are starting to come out. Just had one stick to my eyelash. So I think we're going to achieve better battery this time than we did the last time. I don't know if we're going to be out here for 25 miles tonight, but we're at almost 19 now. We're not at half a bar yet. I mean, half a uh, battery. But these batteries, the one on a bike's new. And they do have to go through a couple cycles before they are at the proper the auxiliary battery i run on my other bikes so and i was thinking that the other day too if i was going to do a long range trip with this bike i have two more of these batteries i'd go if i was knew i was going way out there i'd bring the battery packs but if i was iffy if i was going to make it i don't know say these two batteries get 35 miles out of them let's say i thought it was going to be close 35 but it could be 40 whatever hey throw another battery in Bring up idea. That's why when I, I saw this bike and I'm like, oh, I'm going to put a second battery on it. And I'm like, I already got the electric batteries. Why not use them? See, we just passed the trail there. I wouldn't mind trying that, but I'm not doing an ad on this bike. I mean, I'd have to strip this thing down a little bit if I was going to take it down a path. I think it could handle it. I don't think it could handle it like a champ, but maybe that deer, if I keep that thing, it's already kind of stripped down. Leave it stripped down. It's got full suspension. We're running on trails. It's a heavy bike, though, to be running on trails like that. 
If I was truly going to run a trail like that, I'd like a bike 55 pounds, something like that, 60 maybe tops. So the bike that I like, if you're listening, cyber bike, I wouldn't mind having one of your bikes. They're a budget mountain bike, but I like them. Don't be long, there'll be sailboats out there. I actually see a boat out there now. The guy's probably fishing or something. So I gotta start reaching out to some other bike companies. I haven't really been reaching out to any. Because bikes have been coming in, so I've been getting lazy, but it's the time of year that they want to give them away, so I better start reaching out. I'd like them to send me something other than a trike. I don't want to turn into the trike channel unless they can get me some fast trikes. That I'd be interested in. I like that Mercedes AMG back there. A GLE. Well, it's not a GLE when it's a AMG, but if I had my choice of cars, they said pick one, I'd pick one of those. What are we out here? A little over an hour so far. This thing just dropped down to half a bar. Well, like I said, we've been running heavy. It'd be nice when I could ditch this coat too. Go back to my uh, my vest. I also have t-shirts in, uh, in bright yellow. I run those once in a while. Mostly the vest though, because it has the reflective stripes on it. Like I said, I want to be seen. I'm on dangerous roads. I moved to Florida, that'd be a whole different story probably. Those are much quieter roads for the most part. And apparently you can drive on the sidewalks there too, so. But I think the last time we went with this bike, well, like I said, I think we were around 25 with it. And uh, we were at two bars and we're gonna have half a battery when we get back and we're gonna be 23 miles. I don't know. Did I have the other battery off? Maybe. Maybe I rode it harder. I don't know. Another day that the sun's going down, so we're not going to have time to uh, walk around this bike. But I have people asking all the time, you know, what what bars did you put on? What this? What that? So I know there's an interest in seeing it. And that was one of the things I planned on doing every time I did a ride was walk around on the bikes. But I haven't done it. But I'm also taking off on Tuesdays, trying to fit a ride in. And tonight I'm going to go in and I don't think I'll take the other bike out, the little one. I might take it out just to see how the lights look, but I don't know. I got some editing to do. For the last time we took this bike out, I never did find out what the tick tick was, but I also honestly didn't look for it. I didn't hear it that much. I did hear it once in a while today and it said, oh yeah, that tick tick. But so we're at 23. Point two squirrel almost got hit and I promised my wife I would check the mail all right guys this is it we are home